Hello and welcome to 2012. Now this is the year that a lot of people have been talking about for quite some time. This is the year which according to the Mayan calendar, well no it isn't, it's an Aztec calendar, suddenly everything comes to an end on the 22nd of December 2012, this year. Well, actually, no. You see, if you take the same measurements upon which the calendar was based using modern, very sensitive instruments, you will find that the date which they measured is not the 22nd of December 2012, but it was actually in July 1998. It's already happened. We're already in the change. It's progressing. And this is the change called ether. This is the change where mankind wakes up. And the current um, rate of expansion is around 130,000 people wake up every day. So gradually the numbers of awake people are gaining the, what's the word, overhand in German, the majority, the determining force. So we've got quite a few things to do in 2012. It's a year of enormous potential. It's a year of tremendous change, not because of an astrological miscalculation, but because humanity expects enormous change in 2012. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to happen anyway. The question is, which way are you going to make it happen? Now, you can make it happen by being a victim and let them roll over you, let... Um, Federal Emergency Management Agency put you in their concentration camps. Now, I know they've been denying that they exist for years, but a few weeks ago they started advertising for personnel to man them. And there are over 700 concentration camps spread across North America with capacity in excess of 20 million people. Now, why does North America need prison camps with a capacity of 20 million people unless they're expecting to do something nasty to everybody, including you. Do you want to do it or do you want to do something else? Now, the first thing we've got to stop on the program is this war that they're trying to engender involving Iran, Israel, Syria, and then from there pulling everybody else in. We will be starting a program to resolve that in the very near future. Full details will be in the newsletters. Now, if you're not already registered for the newsletters, do go here, www.karmasing.com, and use the contact form to register for the newsletter, and then you'll get the program details as they're released. Then we have to go into the financial system not to repair it, not to fix it, but to replace it. You can't make a system which is designed to put everything into the hands of the bankers, to make bankers the owners of the whole planet, including humanity. You can't fix that system so that it works for everybody. You, all you can do is replace it. That is, build something new. Now, great strides have already been made in this direction in many countries of the world. It's just a case now of making everyone aware of them and your choice to use that which works for humanity instead of that which only works for the bankers and their friends in who own the US government and most other uh, first world governments. So these are the first two things on the program. Expect a little later in the year a lot of propaganda to convince you that there is a new sort of plague 
about to descend upon humanity and you've got to spend billions and billions of pounds and dollars and euros and whatever on some sort of quack nostra from the pharmaceutical conglomerate. Mm -mm. Forget it. The whole fairy tale of infectious disease has no scientific base whatsoever. You can even see in the medical statistics themselves, from the people who come into contact with the so-called disease generating or the dangerous um, bacteria or virus, 96 to 99% of those people are completely unaffected by it. That shows you that the virus or the bacterium or whatever is not and could never possibly be the source of the problem. The problem is somewhere else and that we shall be dealing with in the course of this year in some considerable detail. So a lot to do, but the first thing I want to start with is this little thing here. Now, if you want to remain controlled, manipulated, if you enjoy having no responsibility and no authority in your life, then switch off now. Because this is about changing your inherited energy structure, not the DNA, but the causational structure for the DNA to make it very, very much more difficult to control and to manipulate you. It should be very effective uh, with mind control techniques. They probably no, will no longer work at all. It will certainly greatly weaken the effects of harp, if not completely eliminate them. And it could be that you only need to receive this transmission once. It is by no means risky to receive it more than once, but I want your feedback. Tell me what happens when you do it once, and then tell me what happens when you do it several times. And please, use the contact form on the Karma Singh website, not via YouTube. It's very difficult to collate responses from YouTube. Thank you. Namaste.